So what the heck is Sig Sauer doing in Oregon? Let's find out. So we know that Six Hours US facilities are primarily based in New Hampshire, but they've also got a large facility in Tualatin, Oregon. We were invited out to see what they do there. So it's another beautiful Monday morning here in Oregon. Of course, it's drizzling on us. We're excited to head into Sig Sauer here in a couple of minutes. We are going to be talking to their electro optics division, talking about lights and their optics and their assembly line, do some shooting. Should be a fun, fun day. Chan, Anthony, pleasure. Anthony. So we're here at Threat Dynamics. What do you got for us, Anthony? Yeah, so uh, we've got a full assortment of lights. We've got everything that we currently have out in the market. Uh, Foxtrot 1X, two, two R's, um, a new EDC light that's gonna be launched by the time you guys see this video, hopefully. And then uh, we've got a couple new R&D products that we're gonna take a look at uh, today. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, you guys get to see kind of what those look like. They might be blurred, but uh, we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna get some uh, sneak peek behind the hood here. Sounds great. Let's go in and check it out. We're gonna go through product here. Uh, we'll talk about what we currently have in the market and then uh, you guys are gonna see some blur outs and uh, those are some future products that we're working on. We brought uh, these guys out here today to test it out and kind of just get into the user feedback loop and um, obviously see what you guys think and uh, you know we want feedback from you guys directly and no yep. better way to do it in the R&D phase on a couple of these lights. We have the Foxtrot 365 XR. We have the 2R, the Foxtrot 1X and then next up is the f So you guys are gonna see some long guns here. Exciting new products that we've got coming to the market. We're really trying to have a full offering of weapon lights at a affordable price point that everybody can get into. And then last but not least, we have the Foxtrot EDC. What do you guys wanna shoot first? have a design engineer that's in-house, like Weapon Lights is his only thing that he works on. He doesn't work on anything else. Obviously, we have a team in Asia too, um, vendor side and SQE side as well. We do have products like our price point products, like the Foxtrot 1X that is assembled in China, but that's how we are able to give you those products at a value, right? And then we have like the Foxtrot 2R that is assembled here in the US. The Foxtrot 2 is assembled in the US. We're very lucky at SIG. We have a endless pool of people to yeah. reach out to. So every single light we have, we do at least 12 lights as an engineering sample. So yep. we get 12 full size, 12 compacts, and we go to a thousand rounds on each of them. And then we pluck it anywhere from three to five out of them randomly. And then we take those to a higher round count. Okay. And then oh, okay. we take two more out of that set, and then we'll go to the distance and we'll basically report failures and like, yeah, 10,000 rounds, this happened. Yep. Um, or this happened, or they're good, and this is what uh, this is where we're at. This is the most valuable time that we get yeah. once we get engineering samples is right here in the range. Um, and like I said, we do that first initial test in the dark, and that's something that we've implemented in pistols. Um, usually we go to like 15 to 17,000 rounds. So, and we're the test dummies. We're the actual users doing it, so it's, you know, I'm back here watching what's going on and I can see if there's a malfunction with the light and then these guys are running it and they're, you know, direct user feedback of like, hey, this is doing this. Or yeah. when I'm pressing the button, it's, you know, maybe it's not activating or it's maybe turning off under live fire or something. And then it's like, okay, then we take it to triage and figure yeah. out what's going on. We use 716. AR-10s for the majority of our endurance testing. We found that the M400s, the 5.56, is a little bit snappier. Um, it's a faster recoil cycle. So we do, we've been doing, uh, I'd say, what, about a third to yeah. half? Half um, the testing. Half the testing yeah. on 223, half the testing on 308, so. Well, 
Well, I guess those are the, the stars from the rifle light, but yeah. this is really nice. I like the beam. I think it's going to be an interesting product launch. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, your instruction was excellent as well as just your hosting, so thank you. Yeah. Now that we're done with live fire, we get to tour the armory. They've got a ton of pistols and rifles locked up. And next door is yep. over a million rounds in their ammo storage. That's his impact. We need one of these. We do. You guys want to see the thing run? That looks a lot like recoil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is our drop test. Why is there cinder block? Yes. You got to drop it onto something. Yeah. Onto something. <laughs> So yep. we'll do shoulder high, so come here, it's on that guide rod, drop straight down. So. Now Six Hour shows us their Foxtrot 2R final assembly. These are the lights that a lot of us are carrying now, and it's great to see how Six Hour has got some attention to detail and is doing the final assembly here in Oregon. And though we're not optics experts, it's great to see the clean rooms that Six Hour has set up. These rooms help prevent any sort of dust or lint from getting inside the optics that are assembled here in Oregon. Well, I'm exhausted. We just had a wonderful morning shooting here at Sig Sauer, and then we spent all afternoon touring the manufacturing facility, which is right here in Oregon. And we got to hear a lot about the great upcoming products. Six hours going hard on pistol, rifle, and handheld lights. And I think it's going to bring something competitive to the industry. We learned a lot about how Six Hour does their torture testing on their lights and how they do their assembly. And we got to see them really put things through the ringer. Uh, we got to see some really interesting test jigs that they had, but not satisfied with just doing testing. They also do tons of live fire testing with every light they produce as well, which was pretty impressive. A huge thanks to Six Hour for bringing us out to the Threat Dynamics range for allowing us to help test their lights under torture circumstances and showing us the manufacturing right here in Tualatin, Oregon. Thank you, Six Hour.